The word of God is necessary for our safety. It's necessary for our safety. Now that may sound a little bit odd when I say that, but I want to remind you of the words of 1 Peter 5 and verse 8. Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. If you have been a Christian for any length of time, you should know by now that Satan wants to destroy your testimony as a Christian. Just like a hunter would go out and lay out traps in the woods in order to, to catch a prey, Satan puts temptation at strategic times and strategic places in our lives all throughout any given week. Some of you today need to wake up to the realization that Satan has already planned what temptation he's going to put across your path this upcoming week. You have made plans for this upcoming week. Some of you might say, well, I'm planning on going to work tomorrow and I'm planning on doing this in the middle of the week and I'm, I'm planning on accomplishing uh, this this upcoming week. Can I tell you, you have your plan for your life. God has his plan for your life and Satan has his plan for your life. Amen. Satan has already got a plan for your upcoming week. We need to wake up to that. Do you remember in Luke chapter 4 that when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness by Satan, in every instance he responded by quoting scripture. Jesus responded to those temptations with this phrase, it is written. That tells me that apart from the word of God, you and I will never experience spiritual victory in our lives over Satan. The word of God is our weapon against the adversary, the devil. Amen. Our enemy is Satan. We are involved in a spiritual battle and we are not without a weapon. We have our weapon and that weapon is the word of God. Your wisdom won't win the battle. Your spiritual strength won't win the battle. Your Christian background or you being in church, that won't even win the battle. The only thing that'll win the battle is the word of God. And can I emphasize something? He says, it is written. It is the written word of God that we use as our weapon. Can I make a simple observation? And I am a very simple-minded person. I don't preach deep messages. But here's a very simple uh, uh, observation that I have in that phrase, it is written. We will never know what is written until we read it. Wow, that was deep, wasn't it? I was proud of myself on that one now. <clears throat> we will never know what is written until we read it. You cannot say to Satan, it is written if you don't know what has been written and you'll never know what has been written unless you read it. Again, you can't ignore the written word of God and spiritually grow and be spiritually equipped to deal with your adversary, Satan. You ought to be in the book tonight and tomorrow and every day because you know that Satan is going to be laying out traps for you all throughout the week. He's going to be putting temptation across your pathway, trying to devour you and destroy your Christian testimony. You need to wake up to the realization that you cannot walk out of your house in the morning without the weapon, the word of God tucked deep down into your heart and life. It is written is what Christ said. You see, some of you never read your Bible and you wonder why you fall into one temptation after another. It is like going into battle without a weapon. If you don't read the word and receive the word into your heart and life, you will become another casualty in the battle against Satan. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to end up being a casualty. I want to be able to end one day well to where I can either through the rapture or through death, be in the presence of my Lord and Savior and hear those words, well done, thou good and faithful servant. One of the reasons that I teach the word of God to you every week is because I know that Satan is out to destroy your testimony as a Christian. 
He said, I wish you'd tell more jokes. I told a joke in my class today. If you were there in my class, you would have enjoyed the joke. But I'm not here to tell jokes. The Christian life is not a joke. I don't mind jokes. I enjoy a good laugh. And any of you that know me on a personal level know that I enjoy laughing and having a good time. But when I get behind the pulpit, this is serious stuff. Amen. We're not playing games here. Right. This is real life, a real spiritual battle, a real enemy. Satan is out to destroy you. And so you need the preaching and teaching of God's word. You don't need another joke. And so today, what we need is the Word of God. It's necessary for salvation. It's necessary for sanctification. And it's also necessary for our safety 